So what's going on guys, it's Triple G here, back with another Borderlands 3 video, and today I'm going to show you the best shield in Borderlands. It's as simple as that. It is the best shield now in Borderlands, following a recent buff. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, or join us over on Twitch, we stream five times a week. And otherwise, let's get straight into this video. So the shield we are talking about today is the Void Rift Shield. Now this was recently buffed in a hotfix on Thursday, which buffed its abilities to actually be effective against the Singularity and effective with the Impaler and the Nova. So essentially what's going to happen here is that when you are hit with bullets, you're going to fire homing spikes that go back towards the enemies, which do really, really good damage. When your shield breaks, you're going to have a singularity effect and enemies are going to be pulled towards you. And then there is a delayed fuse of a Nova, which is Cryo, which hits after that. So as you can see here, we've taken ourselves to the Guardian Takedown. Now the Guardian Takedown has adds and enemies that are tougher than pretty much every single little add in the game. So we're going to put it on True Takedown. And I'm going to show you that it's not going to matter. Now what we're going to do, I have my clone and my Mantis Cannon here. Um, this is a build that I'm going to release. And after you see the footage, you're going to want to try, try and pick this up. So essentially what we're going to do here, the the Void Rift is going to pull enemies every single time we press our Mantis Cannon. So you can see here, I can press my Mantis Cannon and I will pull enemies towards us, like completely immobilizing them. And then what you can do, you can put yourself by a cliff, press it again and watch as the guys just tumble away. It is absolutely hilarious. You pull them in every direction that you can. Remember as well that the clone can also have this effect when his shield breaks. So the clone will be able to pull enemies as well. So it makes works really well. When you have enemies that are firing bullets at you, you can actually, like, the, the shield will reflect some projectiles back at the enemies, dealing even more damage. So on top of the fact that you can pull them everywhere and immobilize them completely, you can just, like, like ragdoll them. Like, we can pull these guys around. Like, it is one of the best, if not the best, shields in the game now. Like these are completely immobilized and when we do actually want to do damage you can see here we have our commitment stance going and we can just pull them around whenever we want towards the cliff edges if we want to so if i just pull it here and we'll see off they go uh, and away they go on to the next one like it's really really good so as a reminder what you want to be doing here is looking for action skill start on the void rift if you want to farm this shield what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into dlc2 and go to the Dustbound Archives. Now, you are gonna to want to go to the only teleportation device that there is, and then you're gonna run all the way down the map to the end. Now, there is a new use station here, which you can use, which is really simple. I'm not gonna lie, this is not a great farm. It's gonna be painful, but it is going to be worth it because it is exceptional, absolutely exceptional, this shield. It's a 15% drop rate, but remember, you need it with the right anointment. Action skill star is the reason why this makes it so good. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch. We stream five times a week. And otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip.